In this video, we're going to make some adjustments to one of our weapons model. We will make a longer barrel for the shotgun using the source files. So from the root folder of the source files, weapons, shotgun, thunder, shotgun don't blend. First of all, let's save a copy right away. Close this windows as we don't need this. So that they don't get in the way of our modeling. Select skeleton and bring it to rest position. Select the shotgun and now you can notice that I am I will be using pie menus. This add-on can be uh, this is a free add-on and the link will be in the description. User preferences add-ons install add-on from file you can install it here. Don't forget to save user settings otherwise the add-on will be disabled on the startup. So let's go to edit mode. It can be also entered through this menu and the shading can be changed in this menu. Let's go to vertex select and select one of our vertices here. And I'll press del or dot key between zero and enter on the keyboard to focus the camera. Select one of these vertices. All right. Um, first, yes, let's press this button. This will make uh, our model somewhat transparent. And select all of these vertices here. And now we can drag our barrel. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, this looks all right. Let's go back to edit mode. Oh yes, the textures now are actually a little bit, a little bit straight, stretched. It looks all right in this situation. So let's make further adjustments so that the necessity to recalculate the textures is more prominent and then we will go to Substance Painter and reprocess the textures. We will add sighting ribs to our barrel. Back to edit mode, edge selection, A to deselect everything. Press this button again. We select one of our edges here. Control L to select the connected geometry. Make sure it is set to normal. Let's set transform orientation to global. Bring this up to check that we have selected the entire piece. Delete vertices as we don't need this anymore. We select edge ring here and edge ring here, the outer ones. Delete this time dissolve edges. Same for these two now. And now we have a straight barrel. We'll change our sh shading to solid. Go to face selection mode. Select this two. E, left click. And pull this up. Maybe a little bit more.
Yes, I think this is all right. Now, this edge here, we have this angle, so we need to pull this down. However, to be precise, let's select this one here and copy its C axis value. Then select the middle one, Control V, and now it is perfectly flat. Control R to edge a new edge ring. We will place it somewhere around here, I think. Maybe here. Now, select this two, bring this down a little bit, select this edge ring, W, bevel. This one here, and again. Select this two, bring this down a little, then then this two, and also down a little bit. Object mode, material. All right. Um, edit mode, solid. Select all of all of the all of the three. We can adjust the position. Maybe a little bit more to the left. Yes, somewhat like this. Okay. Press L to select our entire barrel. Control E, Control I, H. Select this two. Let's bring this up a little bit. Okay, somewhat like this. Control R for another edge ring here and one here. And now some more here. I'm control R, click escape to leave it at the center. Now select all of these rings W and bevel. Like so. Back to back to object mode to just check the shape. Okay. Now control R again. 
and bevel. Yes. Let's go to face selection, A to deselect everything, and select these these faces. Delete faces. We'll have to do the same thing on the other side. Unfortunately, symmetrical editing in Blender is very limited. So we have to do this manually. Delete faces. Edge selection. Select this r ring here and the other one. And W bridge edge loops. And let's check our normals here. This is the end panel. You can bring it on and off by pressing N on the keyboard. And here we turn this button on. And now we see the directions for our normals. Sometimes when we create new faces they will point in the wrong direction, so we have to check it. If the direction is wrong, we can flip them, flip faces, W, flip normals. If I do this now, they will point in the opposite direction. If I deselect everything, you can see it is shaded a little bit darker, but still it's difficult to notice, so this is a very handy tool. Uh, Control Z to bring it back. So we will do this for the rest of the openings. Let's select our entire barrel, Control e and hide. And we can hide the normals. And I can see that there's something wrong here. Let's select these edges here and bring them down a little bit. And this here and up. And also here and here and these two. Like so. Also maybe we will bring this, this, and this a little bit up. All right. Now the only thing left is front sides. So select this edge here, shift S and bring cursor to, s to selected and then create a circle and specify Twelve vertices. Scale it down then bring it down a little bit. E left click drag up.
OK. E again, left click, Alt M and merge at center. Let's check our normals. Everything is fine. And now we need to assign smoothing groups. In the end panel, here, let's check this. And now we see sharp edges. We don't really need this and this to be sharp. And in shading, we set it to smooth. Here as well. Now we can select our sharp edges. There is actually a better way to do this. Select sharp edges and enter 80. And this selects all of the sharp edges and press sharp let's check let's deselect everything yes everything looks in order now we can turn the display for the sharp edges off and let's make seams Actually, I think the easiest way will be to do it the same way. We select sharp edges and mark seam. Maybe we will add one here. Yes, let's check. Let's select everything. Let's go to UV Image Editor. Press Unwrap. Yes, generally everything seems to look fine. Now let's unwrap our model. Back to UV Editor. Alt H to unhide everything. And now you can see that in the back. That is our shotgun shell. So here in the material panel we um, first of all deselect everything here. Select shotgun shell. Select and hide it. And now select everything and unwrap. You can see that some parts are overlapping. Sometimes this happen. You always have to check. And UVs unwrap. Oh no. Um, Select everything, UVs, pack islands. Now this should be okay. Alt H. Shotgun shell uses separate material, so with with lower resolution textures. So it's okay that they are overlapping. We have to keep it this way. 
so that we don't apply uh, 4K textures to the shell separately. Now, back to object mode. Let's save our file. And now we are ready to export. So select the shotgun root file and export FBX. Here we need to specify a number of things. I have a preset. So selected objects geometries, apply modifiers, armatures, oh yes here in the geometry smoothing must be set to edge, this is important, armature, add leaf bone must be unchecked. Make a preset, you will use it probably quite often. And now we export our FBX.